Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Six invasion and two wars to report on tonight, so be sure to get your crafting in early because things are about to get bumpy. On the West Coast, invasions of Ebonscale and Monarch's Bluff will no doubt put additional strain on the demeanor of the citizens as each has already begun being contested. For those seeking world PvP, these two regions are sure to be hot. If that wasn't enough, the central regions of Windsward and Weaver's Finn are also subject to invasion, though not as heavily contested for factional control. In addition, Eastern Coastal Territories, Reekwater to the south, and Morningdale to the north will have to fight off the corruption as well, in order to maintain the well-being of their citizenry. Two simulated fantasy conflict resolutions tonight brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. First up, CN Panda tries yet again to assault the coast of Cutlass Keys in an effort to claim the region from the marauders of Civil Riot. It's been less than a week since CN Panda last tried to defeat Civil Riot and failed to do so, but having experienced their defensive strategy once, maybe they have a new plan to execute. Or maybe they just have faith that this time the spark will be with them till all are one. And in the nightcap, it will be Elysian, fresh off an invasion, defending their kitchens in Reekwater from the ambitious forces of CN Panda. CN Panda is pulling out all the stops tonight, calling in the entirety of their forces to engage in two wars in an effort to finally find a forever home. But the Iron Chefs of Elysian have turned away CN Panda twice before. Will tonight mark the sweep? Be sure to tune in for complete coverage and reactions from the citizens at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.